Hey guys, Halloween Dan here doing the second video for today, which is something I don't usually do, but I just wanted to sort of do a couple of different things today. Now it's time to talk about a prop. I want to sort of do a thing now, now we're getting close to October, bring down a prop maybe every week, do a little review of it. Most of these, of course, are props that I already have. So today we're going to get something down from the attic. Again, in the most ridiculous way that I could think of, which is by singing a little jingle. So join me while we get something down from the attic. Who's coming out of the attic? Who's coming out of the attic? Who's coming out of the attic? It's probably something spooky. Coming down from the attic today is... Costco Halloween Pumpkin! Hooray! So guys, yes, this is my Costco Halloween Pumpkin. It's the 17 inch model that I managed to get hold of from Costco last year. It isn't last year's model. You might remember that last year they brought out a slightly different version of this. And this year they brought out a slightly different version again. This is actually the model from 2020. And they had it on sale last year down from, I think it should have been about 50 pound. And they were selling it for about 35, I think it was something like that. I can't quite remember. But either way, it was a bit of a bargain, a bit of a steal. And it's such an awesome little prop. I thought I had to grab it. And I have to say, I was not disappointed by this prop. It is absolutely brilliant. First of all, we're just having a quick look at the box. It's a great design box. It has suffered a tiny bit of damage there in the middle from being in storage, I think. But generally, the box looks pretty okay. You've got a nice picture of the pumpkin on the front with its in its different languages, saying Halloween pumpkin with multicolors flickering LED lights. On the side, you've got it showing all the different colors of light that the pumpkin can do. And yeah, and it just some information about it, like it's motion sensor activated, it's on a timer, it takes, in, it takes four C batteries, and it's for indoor and outdoor use. So it's really, really cool. Now, let's have a look at it. <laughs> So this guy is really, really awesome. He's clearly absolutely massive. He's a massive 17 inch pumpkin and he's really, really cool. I love personally of the three that are now available from this year's model, last year's model and so on. I actually prefer the look of this. I know I'm biased, but I actually think this looks more like what a Halloween pumpkin should look like. It isn't too cheery. It isn't too kid friendly or family friendly. It has a proper traditional pumpkin jack-o-lantern face. So aesthetically, I love it. I love the way it looks. It's rock hard plastic. On the back, you've got the control panel. Really basic, really simple control panel. There's the speaker, that's where the batteries go. You've got the volume twisty knob. You've got the, the actual different settings you can have, which is off in its sensor detector mode or just its light up feature. And if you have it just lighting up, it has a colour feature, a button where you can change the colours to suit whatever you prefer. I personally prefer to leave it on its sensor mode. The sensor's up here in the stem and it's really, really sensitive. Last year this was one of the first props we actually put outside in our horn. We actually put it right next to the pillars on the outer edge of our lawn. And every time someone walked past or anything made a loud noise, even a lorry or something going past on the road, this guy would go off. It, I'm not going to lie, occasionally it was a little bit annoying, 
But to be honest, it was really cool. And everyone who came by and saw it, it either really shocked and surprised them because they didn't expect it to make the cool noises that it makes, which are like howling noises and laughing noises and all that kind of stuff. Or they just were kind of impressed by it as a thing. I mean, aesthetically lighting up, it looks really great. And at night, the light in it gets really bright. I've shown it on its sensor mode. I've shown what it does when you have it laughing and all the rest of it. Let me just show you the different colors that you can set this in. So when you first turn him on onto the light mode, he'll just flicker through these different colors. You can see the colors changing in the mouth and in the eyes. It will just go randomly through the different colors that it can produce, which is a real myriad of colors. But if you want something specific, if you want to go for a specific color, you can do that too. With the button on the back that says light, press it and you get one solid color. So the first one's red, green, blue, yellow, light blue, purple, and then white. Press it again and it'll start flickering back through all the different colors that it, it can produce. As simple a prop as this is, and it isn't the most expensive prop in the world, it is probably one of my favorites. I only have, I've only had it a year, but I think it's a standout piece. It's awesome, it's massive, it's a pumpkin, which is what Halloween's all about, and people really like it. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but it's really, really good. And for 40, I think it was 40 pound I got it for last year, bit of a steal, bit of a steal to be quite honest with you. So I'm very, very pleased that I managed to get my hands on this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my getting something down from the attic video and see you in the next one. Keep it spooky, bye.